It's amazing yeah. to think about. I mean, like, I, I just think that, like, something like this would have been a hundred years in the future, you know? Right. I never thought that I would start seeing progress like this in my mm -hmm. lifetime. But imagine 20 years from now mm -hmm. what they're going to be doing. Yep. How long do you think in, before we, like, before we take that leap of faith to Mars? To, Mar to uh, like, people? Uh, yeah, human, yeah, human people. Not the monkeys or the dogs like they've done. I, I mean, definitely in our lifetime. It'll happen. Wow. Uh, I, I guess I can't say. I mean, they've already started working more and more about seeing how, you know, people being in space for that long. I think we mm -hmm. talked about that before. Just no one has been in space for two years straight. Yeah. Um, they did just make their first space taco with space-grown peppers. I didn't hear was about just, that. Uh, yeah, so what? they peppers that were fully from seeds, fully grown in space, and then they made tacos with them. Just like oh. a couple days ago, I think. Space tacos. Wow. <laughs> I wonder how they taste. What What food would you want to grow in space? Like fully space-made meal. Oh, man, that's a difficult one. <laughs> I would probably go the vegetable route because I think yeah. that would be the easiest way to go. Mm -hmm. Well, I mean, well, you could probably make eggs because all you have to do is take a chicken hmm. out there. <laughs> that would be. Why can you? Is that well, possible? Hmm. Can you take a chicken this way? If they sure. no, don't done a monkey, why don't sure. they do that? Just get free eggs. It's hard to probably keep a chicken uh, happy and healthy, maybe. Plus you'd know. need, and you'd need a, no, I guess you wouldn't need a rooster. You only need a rooster for them to be yeah, fertilized. Hmm. Now Na that's, in, now that, now I'm getting weird, you know, <clears throat> interesting images of, is there any issue with the egg coming out being in free fall? But, you know, I, well, I mean, if humans have to use the bathroom, there shouldn't be no yeah, air there's there. Yeah, there's them. a little suction. There's a tiny suction for the bathrooms. Really? It's like a little funnel. Really? And the, uh, I remember uh, reading. So there's a really um, good book. Oh, I can't remember. She she does different subjects. Oh my gosh, I can't remember her name. I wonder how they. Um, but they they when you're an astronaut, they have them train uh, because the hole for the bathroom is very tiny. Yeah. And you have to aim, <laughs> and so just to test it out, like before the astronauts even go up into space, there's just like a, okay, sit and try to like line everything up. And most people think their hole is not where they think it is. So it's wow. really funny. I'm trying to figure out how to best <laughs> tell this story. <laughs> I don't think there's really. I, I always Roach, have to go Mary into Roach, it. Mary Roach, I think is her name. That's the one who wrote the book. Yes, and she has a couple of different books, and they're really good. Yeah. I, I didn't know that was a thing. I wonder how they figured that out. Like, did the first astronauts go up there in, like, Houston? Uh, we, we have we a have problem. We have a problem. Yeah, like a, a big problem, man. I, I say one of these space tacos, and it is not coming out good. Yeah. Okay? Two problems. <laughs> we have a number one problem and a number two problem.